Hey there, comic book fans. No new comics for me this week due to circumstances of the comic shop being closed when uh, I could get there. I probably won't be able to get them until next week. There's only four for me this week waiting, but uh, oh well. So instead, I thought I'd make a video for KKN's, uh, what number is that? 200, 290s. Uh, contest slash holiday contest where uh, he wanted us to show the covers four to four or more covers to a favorite run of ours and I originally had something else picked out but it wasn't real see the, the problem I have with runs is that that really uh, means uh, Marvel or DC comics that have been around for a long time and have some particular creators on them for a short period of time, and I don't really have a lot of a lot of Marvel and DC comics, you know, I've, that that aren't from my youth at least. So a lot of my comics that I have are either mini series, you know, or a series. I mean, who you can't pick a run from Usagi Yojimbo because it's all Stan Sakai, or you know, you can't pick a run from Strangers in Paradise because it's all Terry Moore. It's all kind of the same. So picking a run was a little difficult for me. Um, then I decided to go with these Hellblazers. Now, I, uh, I don't have a lot of Hellblazers. I think I probably bought the first 20 issues off the stands, maybe 30, and then stopped reading it and never really picked it up off the stands again. Um, but a friend of mine, uh, gave me these Hellblazers because he knew, uh, he, uh they're from, let's see, March 2000, because he knew I was a Richard Corbin fan, and he had just bought the uh, trade for them. So he's like, ah, oh, you want these uh, I issues? And I said, sure, wanting to uh, read some Richard Corbin. Uh, and actually, this is probably about the time I became a Richard Corbin fan. Um, for some reason, all through the 80s and 90s, I wasn't a huge Richard Corbin fan. But then in the 2000s, something clicked for me. And I became a huge Richard Corbin fan. He's just such a master storyteller. And these, these are written by Brian Azzarello, who I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Brian Azzarello's writing, but uh, he does a good job here. And like I said, Richard Corbin is just such a master storyteller that um, he, anything he touches turns to gold for me. So here we have, these are all Tim Bradstreet covers on these ones. And this is issue 146. 147, 148, 149, and issue 150, Hard Time, Part 5 of 5. And his story is interesting, too, because uh, the whole time, it takes place in jail, I think in, um, in the U.S. And, you know, it's your typical jail story with, um, you know, him caught in jail and, you know, different criminals in jail all being bad, you know, they're all bad men and they have their own fighting going on and this and that. And the whole time you're just kind of waiting for John Constantine to start being John Constantine. Because you know that, you know, he's not trapped in jail, He they're trapped with him. <laughs> it's that kind of story where you're just, you know, he you're just waiting for him to make his presence known and he eventually does and you know wins the day gets whatever he needs to out of being in jail and leaves <laughs> so it's a, like i said it's a, a it's the one run in hellblazer that i have um matter of fact i don't even have the first uh I don't even have the first 30 issues or so that I bought. I actually gave them away to a friend who is a big uh, Hellblazer fan, but uh, he took such horrible care of his issues and lost them that he got my, I gave him my nice copies. Sometime in the 90s I gave them to him just because I didn't read Hellblazer anymore and he really liked it, so uh, he's got them now. But anyway, there's, there, there's a run, a five-issue run of Hellblazer, and there's one other Richard Corbin thing I want to show you. Just because it's another. Once again, this is. I don't so much have runs of things as I have series and such, and this is a really good one. This is um, from 2005. IDW Bigfoot, Steve Niles, Rob Zombie, and Richard Corbin. Now we get to some real Richard Corbin covers. 
There we go. Based on the, what is it, Patterson Gimlin photo or something like that. Um, but this is a, this Bigfoot series is an excellent, I don't know if, I, I think that even the trade is out of print. But if you can find these, it's just an excellent story. It's basically Bigfoot as giant monster. So these guys go into the woods to, and they run into a giant monster. And Bigfoot, he's a straight up old fashioned monster. He'll rip you from limb to limb if he gets the chance. And there's nothing human like about him. He's, it's just a straight up monster story. And it's really, really good. Like I said, Richard Corbin is just such a master storyteller. And Steve Niles and Rob Zombie do an excellent job with the script or plot, whatever parts they were involved with. Because like I said, it's 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 Bigfoot as giant monster, which is kind of, I, I don't think I've kind of seen that before. Usually, you know, when you see a Bigfoot story, they kind of want to humanize Bigfoot and, you know, make him sympathetic. And in this, he is in no way sympathetic. You want to stay out of his way. If you even try to shoot him, he's bigger, stronger, and faster than you and will rip you from limb to limb if he gets a chance. So, There are two runs drawn by Richard Corbin that I think are uh, very good and very interesting. We get Hellblazer, Hard Time. I know this one's out in trade paperback. Um, Hellblazer 146 to 150, hard time 1 through 5. And I know this one's out in trade paperback too, but might be out of print. Bigfoot issues uh, 1 through 4, Steve Niles, Rob Zombie, and Richard Corbin. Oh, and by the way, he wanted to say us to say our name too, but my, my name's in my username. I'm Jared. Uh, it's my real name, so. <laughs> um, so you guys have a good time out there, and hopefully I'll get my new comics soon.